Hey, once again for the second time today, it's your boy Dede from Triple D Gaming coming at you with another FS22 map making stream video. You know how we do it. Let's get to it. Alright, ladies and gents, boys and girls. Um, I went ahead and just restarted the stream with the same thumbnail, same title, and just deleted the one we were just on. Because my internet got deleted, or my internet got unplugged. So... Um, that was a mishap. That's why I just quit abruptly. So, um, here we are. Nothing happened to the map or anything. Just the, the, the internet had got unplugged, um, by accident. So, unfortunately, that happened. Um, but here we are. Back at it again. So, yeah. Hey, bro, what's up? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yeah, Joel. I don't know if you if you heard it. I don't know if you heard me there. The my internet got unplugged by accident. Now, the power went out at work today. It was out all day too. We had to run generators to to run the scales. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm like, what the heck just happened? And I went upstairs. It was either my daughter or the cat unplugged the internet. So. Yeah, I just went in there and took the stream that we just streamed for an hour and just deleted it. So I didn't have to remake thumbnails or none of that. Just deleted it and just restarted the stream with the same criteria. Alright, so... I really didn't want to add that meadow to it. But that meadow was already kind of happening. So I went ahead and just flowed with it, just because this is the little walking trail anyhow, so. But the rest of it, we're not going to have the meadow. We're going to go back to what we normally do with it. Nope. Nothing, yeah, nothing else quit. Just the, just the internet, so. Our map never closed. <laughs> I didn't have to reopen it. Um, yeah, so. Not by me, but some things got rearranged up where the internet is, and now it's a little prone to accidental mishaps like that. I need to move. I need to move it. So I, so I don't have that problem again. Yeah, I just lost an hour's worth of content because of that. <laughs> um... Yeah, we was at. Where we at now? Hundred, yeah, hundred one. Hundred one episodes. It's crazy. Get that guy rolling again. <laughs> uh, that go small.
You know harvest no harvesting today. Agro. Did you get all your harvesting done or what? What did you use to split it in half? Um, a video editor? If you use the video editor to split it in half, um, whenever you exported it out of editor, you probably didn't export it in 2K. That's probably what happened, if that's what you used. Uh, yeah, uh, which video editor did you use? The one in that I showed in that video? Yeah, you actually have to set the editor up to um, export in 2K, 4K, or whatever, whatever you're tr trying to. To do did it do it in 1080p all right yeah um <clears throat> that's why I started using other video editors because that one only lets you export up to 1080p so that's why that's why um, if you would have did it in DaVinci, you would have been able to keep it 2K. Yeah, that's why I switched editors because that's the highest resolution that that particular editor will let you export in. It's 1080p and that's it. Nothing higher. Yeah, I failed to mention that part too. <laughs>
yeah um maybe next week I'll try to I'll try to do a video on Da Vinci um, even if it's just to show how to export out of it but um, ain't no point in doing that might as well just show how to use, completely use it I guess and try not to have it too long so just um, do a real quick video show how to get your clips in there um, show how to um, show how to get your clips in then show how to put them together how to add transitions um, to blur one clip into the other seamlessly and then how to add like music how to add time lapses just the basic stuff pretty much um, and then how to export in different qualities and all that good stuff and then I don't know and maybe on excuse me man maybe later on then get real in depth with it even if it takes an hour to do so which it shouldn't <laughs> I mean it wouldn't for me it wouldn't take that long for me to edit a video but to explain exactly what I'm doing in that and then go ahead and do a more in-depth one actually editing a video and showing everything about it yeah so whenever I Whenever I show how to add music, it'll be exactly that. How to cut the audio out that's inside of it already. And how to add custom audio. So, the music. That would be the custom audio aspect of it. But, yes. Exactly that. Brett, Brett, what's going on, brother? If you're going with when you get there make sure you tell them that there you notice oh <laughs> it's like make sure you tell them about triple d man say he's a bad mother you know what <laughs> i thought you was going was it? wow What is that? Today or tomorrow? It's like real close, ain't it? I'm wanting to say tomorrow, but uh, could be today. I don't know. I don't know. My days are all messed up, man. why Tuesday I was thinking it was Thursday that's that wishful thinking man trying to get the week over with <laughs> all right <clears throat> yeah I thought it was today I wasn't sure though 
and it was today or tomorrow. What's farm con? It's like a huge festival for farming simulator. You can actually pack your bags and go. If you can get a ticket for it. <laughs> What do you mean I got the road? Yeah, I think it's over in Germany too, Jewel. Um, and I'm pretty sure they change it each year, like where the location is. So it, it doesn't have a set destination location until like right before it happens. Well, not like right before it happens, but when it gets close to when it's happening or something like that. Yeah, thanks, Brit Brit. We getting there. <laughs> I completely covered the ground with these little twigs. That way we don't have to go back in and dive them in. Um, now, it won't be like this. Because whenever we put in the grass, like it'll delete a lot of that. At least 75% of it will be gone. But that'll save me from having to go through and dabbing them in there. Um, 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 um. Yeah, and I meant to come along the edge and add some on the edge, but I really don't know if we need it. I mean, I have been doing that to every piece of horse ground that I've done. I've put them along the edge, too. now <laughs> mm.
I know, right? Yeah, I'm still not sure what, which way to go next. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might come over to this next because this is going to be a huge transformation, and I'm gonna do this whole area up to the highway and over this whole thing. So that might be our next step, possibly. Um, yeah, we got some major landscaping to do, or terrain forming, and yeah, it's going to be crazy. Like, I kind of like this little deal they got here. Like, I really do, but obviously we, we have to change it. We can't, we can't leave it what it is. Now, if I was able to... Like make some cabins, like some log cabins and stuff. Boom, I'd throw them in here and just kind of leave it the way it is. Put a dirt road in there or something with cabins, that'd be sweet. But, um, yeah. I mean, I, I do like it, but it, it's gotta go. So we can be original. How about it? But, yeah, it's either that way or come over here and do this section right here next all this right here but I'm thinking I think it made me go this way try to knock out that huge chunk all at once it's gonna be pretty slick <laughs> cabin and it's how I made these with the cylinder the blackness in there all I did was took that texture I showed you that black texture and threw it on a cylinder and threw inside of the tunnels to make it black in there I don't know, I don't understand what you mean. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you mean just do it in here instead of Blender? Like, if I was able to actually get, like, windows. Like, if I actually had a window that was separate, separated, I could, I could, in a door, I could most definitely do it. Do it like that. For sure, yes, I could. Matter of fact, for all that, <clears throat> um, for all, for all of that, I could just... Come over here and grab one of these logs and build a cabin out of these. You know what I mean? That would be pretty cool. But it wouldn't have doors or windows unless I could actually find something that would actually let me pull a window off of it and a door. kind of hard to find stuff that actually lets you separate little stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I could find doors and windows, yeah, 100% could do that.
Now, um, I, I could just bring in cabin mods and throw them down, but I, again, I'm not sure if you're allowed to use other people's mods in a map if you're trying to get it the map on the mod hub. I know if you were just making it for yourself, without a doubt you can do that, but I don't know. I, I don't know the rules behind that. <laughs> It's a standard map, standard map. Yeah, it got too much crazy detail in it to do it four times, man. I'd be here for the next two years trying to make this thing. <laughs> and I was trying to get it uh, released for console too but uh, they do have that in the workings now to put four times maps on console but that wasn't the case when I started it so Like we normally do, throw this in, put the little grass on the edge, and then throw this in, and then we'll come back on it with the small dense mix stuff there. Standard map? Alright. <laughs> Man, I'd be here forever throwing all this detail into a four times map. I mean, we're already here forever on a standard map, let alone a four times. Which would be okay, but. I'm trying to get it done sometime in the near future here.
that'd be okay for just painting in some roads and filling it all in with trees, but that's not what we're doing here. dry grass. What is that? Oh. Ah. My arm was going to sleep. Uh. Wait. What is that? It's not about me paying it on anything. other side with the long grass and then come back on both sides with the short dense mix and then be done with that
break on that beat going crazy Yeah, I try not to get close to the, I'll bring it over the short grass there further, but when you do it, when you do that with the long grass, man, the long grass, it, it paints down different than the other grasses, and it just, it takes over, so you gotta be careful, so whenever I go back to that short dense mix, that's what I'll feel, uh, I'll fill the rest of that in with it. So we're trying to do it with this. Unfortunately, we gotta go up and down the road two more times. <laughs> Gets it looking good, so that's the way we gotta do it. Jing. And for that, I'm just gonna turn this off our limiter so we can paint anywhere. <laughs> yeah man four times map I my, my my hands would lock up on me <laughs> trying to do all this on the four times map 
It definitely wouldn't be as detailed. Alright, Jim. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that was me yesterday. I don't I don't remember if I was really talking that much. <laughs> I mean I'm tired today too. You can tell when I'm tired, man. I'm I don't talk as much. Yeah, it's a good, uh, good thing that I didn't, <laughs> didn't do the other road like this, or we would still have to do it as well. And I'm hoping it actually, which it should, I was going to say, I'm hoping it actually turns out good the way I did it, but. First time I, I've done it like like that. See, this hero actually let me get up in here without just wiping out the short grass all together. Now if I tried to do that with the long grass, for some reason it would just wipe it all out. 
the way it paints down. It, for some reason, it paints down a little different than the rest of the grasses. Sit at work all night, man, and that clock just slowly moves. Here we go. It's flying again. <laughs> Look, she came down here and stopped me from streaming to fix her TV because her TV wasn't working. I don't even think she's watching it.
Yeah, man, that sucks. Um, <clears throat> I was actually getting action on the stream, and the internet went out. And um, I shared the stream like crazy. That's why we were getting action. But whenever I deleted it and we started the stream over, it changed the the link. So all that sharing I did was for nothing because now the video or the stream has a completely, totally different link. Um, so yeah, if anybody clicks on that link that I shared, it's not going to bring them to the stream. <laughs> going to take them to the stream that I deleted which isn't going anywhere so that kind of sucks it takes me a long time to sit there and share the stream too so I gotta sit there and type in all the hashtags and all that good stuff. Yeah, that's that's why it really isn't. I think you're the only person in here right now, Joel. That's it. Yeah, Roger that. Yeah, all because the internet got unplugged. Jeez, oh man. Yeah, we actually had people coming in like crazy too. It is what it is, though. Definitely got to move that internet. All right. Um. So we need long grass long grass and then we're gonna lock that to force ground number two I think is how I did it before see the only bad part uh The only bad part about putting the little branches in there first is, excuse me, I'm not going to be able to, to delete the excess grass because there's always way too much grass and I have to sit here and delete it because it puts it in too thick, well thicker than I would like it to be. And, um... So, I think before I just did the twigs on forest ground number four. <laughs> um, but I did it after, after I put the grass in. So I was still able to scribble the grass out where there's too much grass. bushes over there. We definitely need our bushes there to hide the, the boundary. Yeah, I just hate how it, put, it puts too much grass in. Like, it's not right now, but with us using the 
other grass with it as well. It just adds too much grass for my liking. All the other ground that we did, we just sat there and just scribbled out some of it to make it thinner. But I'm not going to be able to do that, or we'll be deleting all of our twigs and stuff. And we'll just have to see what we can delete, I guess, as we we go. Um, I'll probably just do it whenever I'm adding sticks to it. Just try to try to get some of it deleted without deleting the little branches. It kind of sucks because it would take longer doing it that way instead of just being able to scribble some of it out.
tried just avoiding getting it. Like we could just paint it under the rocks. Um, but I just trying to avoid that because it normally just comes up through the rock. <laughs> and I don't want grass coming up through the rock. So I'm just going to try to avoid it. And then when we get to the other stuff, uh, the small dense mix, I'll go up and try to paint some closer to it. deleting our uh, pine needles. I forgot about that too.
Yeah, see, I, I don't know, man. That's, that's any bad part about doing it like this. It, it puts it in there too thick. And I actually want, like, bear spots on the force ground. I want you to be able to see bear spots. Like, you can see it right now, but whenever I add the other grass to it, then it it really fills it in. That's why normally I go back through and try to just delete a little bit of it to thin it out some. Let's see if you can actually see the bare spots. Okay, small dense mix, force ground number three. And then here's where it starts to get too thick, right here. See, when you're up on it, it's okay, but looking at it from a distance, you can barely tell there's bare spots. And it's And that's why I try to delete as I'm putting the other plants and the sticks and stuff in. Um, just so whenever you're looking at it from a distance like this, it just doesn't look like a field. A field of grass. Like, like that. <laughs> so. That's... That's my whole thought process behind that anyway. But that's why I try to delete it, the thicker spots, as I'm adding the other plants. See, when we jump to that next section too, uh, I would like for to have the new trees by then, by the time I go to put the trees in over there, because I think them the new trees would go nice um, over there with what we're going to be doing over there. And I think I just deleted all the bushes, did I? Like 
did delete some of them, so I'll just back that up and redo that piece. This rock is a pain in my neck. <laughs> I just really don't want the grass coming through the rock. 
it looks horrible to me. And very, very unrealistic. <laughs> And now the our rocks definitely look a little better um, with grass and that around them. Maybe throw some bushes around them too. Not a lot, just a few here and there.
mainly these these spots right here. You gotta watch. Make sure your grass isn't coming through the rock. Make it look like that. Ah, now, now we can blow it back up and finish. I just, oops, man, did we do this one there? Just wanted to get up close to these just to make sure we didn't have grass growing through the rocks. But it definitely looks better with the grass in here now. And uh, like I said, we'll try to throw just a few bushes around the rocks. Not get carried away with it though. And then we get the trees and that in there. It'll look good. I think we're good in the front here. I don't think it'll actually grow or come through the rock there it's mainly up behind them he's having that issue alright now we can flip back Horse ground number three. Where are we at here? Two. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Now, did I finish this? Yeah. We didn't do this. I don't think, man.
not any of my tired now my, my shoulders hurting. <laughs> You know, my, my shoulder started hurting from holding it up there at the mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be nice putting the trees in on this one, though, because, well, for one, it's always nice to see it after it's done, but being able to script them in almost pretty much in one one script one big old chunk it's gonna be it's gonna be nice we'll just have to pluck them off the road um, and then fill in the corner by hand Man, I really wish it didn't fill it in so much with the grass. Because <laughs> I, I can't help myself. I'll, instead of just putting down the other stuff real quick and moving on, I'll be uh, sitting here trying to delete most of it. Just because I want it... Like right here you can see the, the bare spots. Without a problem. But... Like when you're down low to the ground, you're looking up through there, it just looks like a field of grass. And I don't want it like that. I want you to actually be able to see the, the bare spots on the ground. So, um, that's why I gotta sit there and try to delete a little bit as we put down the other plants here. Unfortunately, that takes time. <laughs> just wherever the, um, the long grass is, I kind of just try to delete the big patches of that. Alright, but our next step is... We can turn this off now. Turn that off. Like where that long grass was, that could have been the little dry branches. But to be able to do it quick, I mean, we really ain't got no choice, or we'd have to go back to the way we started doing it, just putting it in by hand. Which for these big areas, that just takes entirely too long, like way too long. So just as I popped these in there, we'll get rid of some of that grass and then whenever we go to start putting our sticks in we'll kind of put them in like right over top of the grass so we'll delete some of it while we're at it that's the game plan anyway Once I get towards the end, I'll start rushing it and then um, yeah, not be so aggressive with it and not caring. <laughs> like I said, I could have just had it scribble this out, but I put the grass in before I put the... Uh, Wigs in, or we could have just sat there and scribbled it out. But now we gotta worry about deleting the twigs. Um, but the good thing is, though, while we're putting these in, we'll do all that while we're putting these in. So whenever we go back to the next, or whenever we go to the next thing, like putting sticks, ah, come on with the pop ups, man. 
So, ah, another pop-up. Whenever we go, and another one, and another one. Another one. Are you done yet? Alright, so yeah, whenever we go to put our sticks in that in, we can just throw them in real quick. We won't have to sit there and delete the grass. That's why I try to do it right now as I'm throwing these guys in there. And like now that you look at that at a distance, you can actually see bare spots because we deleted some of the grass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't believe you didn't know what FarmCon was there, Joel. got to be a better way <laughs> but there's but there's not I mean there is just don't care what it looks like and just paint the stuff down and scribble it in there but <clears throat> I want it to actually look awesome so there is no other way <laughs> but to do it the way I'm doing it
Like, it's the only bad part about doing this like this. Um, like, if I didn't put the forest ground in and just put the trees on grass, <laughs> man, that would be so much easier. But it, it would look good, but it wouldn't look like an actual forest ground, so. We got the tools to be able to do this. So, I'm taking the time to actually do it. It was a lot better though when I was able to just scribble it out, but I don't want to do that because then I'll I'll lose all of our little dry branches. Oh man, steering wheel started turning on me. I'll lose all of our little dry branches that we just put in there. My foot hit the plug and unplugged it, <laughs> and it started moving. I don't know, you, you walk in the woods, man, there's just a bunch of sticks and stuff on the ground, and that's what we got here, and once once we get everything else in here, man, it, it looks pretty wild in game, like, it, like, it really looks like the, you're in the woods, it's crazy, so it's definitely worth the pain, but it is painful doing this, and I know it is. flowers in it's going to take a little bit but like I said after we put these in or while we're putting these in we get rid of these bigger patches of lawn grass and then when we come back and start putting all the other little goodies on the ground we don't have to worry about deleting the grass because we already did it and the rest of it will go down a lot quicker Thank you. 
See, now you can actually tell that that is patchy from down here. See, like when we look over here, that looks like solid grass right there. But after we come through and we do that over here, it won't look like solid grass anymore. It'll actually look patchy. See, now you can see patches in it. But then it's hard to hard to keep track of where you put the plants in that. So I don't I don't know. Might just go ahead and might just be easier to go ahead and go through here and just dead lead or thick grass first, and then come back through and just hammer in them little plants real quick. It's gonna be boring here for a minute, but. All part of the process, I guess. It's just way too thick, man. what let me try to put it I'm gonna try to lock it on to uh, as forest ground number two that I put the long grass on so let me just lock it onto that so I don't have to worry about deleting everything else and then just try to scribble that out of there a little bit so let's go to forest ground number two just make it a lot quicker I don't know why I didn't think of that before um, yeah, so that should just get rid of the long grass. Just like we're doing now. But, okay, and then we'll just sit here and scribble that out a little bit. Just try to thin it that out some. Yeah, normally, while well, I was doing it the way I was just doing it. Um, just because I'm trying to get 
some of the thicker patches like that. Um, but obviously it's taken too long to do that. <laughs> so I just do it like this and try to just scribble out some of the bigger patches and not have to worry about deleting the rest. That'll go way quicker. Nice. Uh, I, I can deal with that. See, now when you look at it, from a distance you can actually see the patches in there. I'm happy with that. Okay. Yeah, we'll be able to zoom through it now. Like it. Yeah, doing it the way I was doing it, I mean, I could actually just concentrate on the bigger things, patches. But that's taking too long, so we'll just stick with this scribble technique here. <laughs> I'm definitely glad we found a faster way to do that. Problem is there might be a couple spots I got rid of a little bit too much.
I should have went out and cut my grass today too. That's what I should have did. I might still actually have to do it today. I don't know if it's supposed to rain. I don't even know if the grass is dry enough. I mean, it's hard enough to dry it out, but it did rain last night. I don't like to cut the grass. Some people go out and cut it a couple hours after it rained. I don't, I don't like to do that. Cause then it's all clumping up under your mower. And yeah, I don't like to do that. I'd rather let it get long until it actually dries out. Sometimes I don't have that option though. I just gotta go do it. Yeah, we'll definitely be moving along a lot quicker now doing it like this. Now we can just go back through it and just fire in them plants. Be done. Lot better. Lot, lot better. See, now you can look up there. It's real patchy, man. It's still kind of a little bit thick in places, but I can deal with it now. Yeah, the last time I just did it while I was putting in implants, and it seemed to work a lot quicker than it did this time. <laughs> I don't know, we figured out a quick fix for it, so. I'm happy. And we didn't have to um, end up deleting our twigs and stuff because of it either, so that worked out pretty good too. So 
so now we could actually go back and set it to just the pine needles there and put more of our twigs down if we wanted to. Yeah, see, this would have took forever, man. This area is huge. <laughs> but being able to just scribble it out now and it just take that grass out and nothing else, that works. That works real good. We will definitely get done a lot quicker. Like, way quicker. hard to keep track of what you did and what you didn't do. <laughs> Yeah, so we got 
Well, uh, one more week and one more day. And I'll be on vacation, man. I can't wait. Like I said, it's, it'll go by so flipping quick that <laughs> it'll be over before I even know it. I'll be sitting right here in this chair like, man, I gotta go back to work already. Like, Get it down a little bit quicker. I don't want to get too close to that rock because I kind of want to keep more grass by the rocks than I do anywhere else. Like, the grass that we had on there was technically okay. I just like the look of it when it's on there thinner. Um, and you can see more of the ground and that makes it, it makes it more open so when we add all the other stuff it's easier to see as well
Brit, Brit, what's going on, brother? Thank you. 
they released two John Deere tra tractor and a map just now from Farm Come on, check it out. Is it made by giants or is that for um, the uh, part of the expansion or what? Or was it just some mods or something? Yeah, I gotta check it out because I haven't even looked at the mods for the last couple of days. I, I normally try to get on there at least every other day and check out the new mods. So, uh, I've missed what's came out recently. <laughs> but normally I, I, try, I do. I try to at least see what, even if I don't use them, if it's something I want, I download it. <laughs> so I have it. Yeah, I'm, I was just saying now, are they, are they just, <clears throat> uh, mods from Giants, or are they from the expansion coming up, or is just some, okay, alright, cool, cool, cool. I gotta remember to do it though. <laughs> Whenever I'm done streaming. <laughs> Alright, so now all I gotta do is pop down the plants. I don't have to worry about deleting the thick grass. I got it thin thinned down now so it isn't so thick. See now you look through everywhere, man, you could definitely tell it's it's patchy. See it doesn't just look like a straight solid field now. Can we, took that time to thin it out I'm glad I did it I'm glad I found a quicker way of doing it rather instead of the way we've been doing it Didn't we have that map for FS19 too? The Swiss Future Farms? I'm pretty sure we did. I think I did a how to video on it. How to add dirt uh, building materials to the map. I think I did on that map. Okay. I thought we did. Obviously, updated version of it, but yeah, cool, 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 cool. It's a shame you know my videos better than I do. <laughs> but you're right. Um, what map? Or I'm wanting to say I also did the building materials on that map too, though. can't remember I can't remember what map I actually did the building materials video on but yeah you're definitely right I'd yep as far as that video goes yeah I definitely did the uh, how to delete field thing on that but I, I think I also did the building material video on that map as well. K 
can't remember. Now I'm curious. Stuff drives me nuts, man. You hit the button a thousand times and you only get 500 things. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering where you were taking the dog out to. <laughs> nah. What kind of dog you got, Joel? They yeah, said so we got some new tractors and uh, two new John Deere's and a Swiss Future Farm map release there from Farm FarmCon on the mod up. So, yeah, go go check that out if you want. I'm gonna go check them out if I, as long as I remember. I I probably should. I probably should end the stream a little bit early today and go cut my grass. I don't know if it's still wet though. It did rain last night. Yeah, I'm just firing these in there now because I took the time and I went through and did and thinned out the grass everywhere so now I don't have to worry about thinning out the grass. I already did it. It's done. Uh, yeah. 
Alright. Yeah, I don't know if you heard me too. They said uh, two John Deere tractors and the future future Swiss Farms uh, map was released on the mod hub from FarmCon. So if you want to check those out, Joel. It's supposed to be on the mod hub. My dog passed away, right? What? A couple weeks ago? Yeah. Man. I swear I'd be hearing her bark, man. I'm telling you. I'll be up there. In the kitchen or something. I swear I'll be hearing her bark, man. I'm like, jeez. Yeah, yeah. The map's not by FarmCon, but it was released. The map's by. Uh, Oxygen and David. But it was still released. <laughs> You know what I was excited about uh, Constance Farm <clears throat> and it came out you know you waited until 22 for it to come out it came out I downloaded it and I have yet to play that map <laughs> like man I just ain't got time Mine was the one that to me too, and I was the one streaming. <laughs> I couldn't see any chat, man. Everybody's talking to me. I ain't answering them. still does that to me actually um, if I don't have it popped out it, it doesn't I, I can't see the chat well I can see it but it just doesn't show when somebody says something it don't I don't know I don't get it so I have to pop it out to be able to see if somebody said something
<laughs> yeah, I I downloaded it, Carl. I just haven't had time to play it. I was excited about it too. I was I was waiting for it to come out for 19, but he said he wasn't bringing it until 22. I was like, ah, <laughs> my end. Then it came out. Boom! I went and downloaded it right away. And have yet to play it. quick because I'd hate to have to do all that over again <laughs> yeah that would suck I'm, I'm taking it that, that you play it there, Carl. How, uh, how you like it. Oops. Doesn't he have a 4K version? Like, uh, can't you get a version of it with the 4K grass or something? Because that's what I meant to do was get that version of it and then... But I can't remember if that's what I got or if I just got it from the mod hub. I'm wanting to say I looked for the 4K version but I couldn't find where he had it. And just got it from the mod hub, or I might have ended up getting. I can't remember. I can't remember. I think there was a 4K grass version or something you could get. Yeah, that's why I wanted to play it, just because it, it was so detailed. There's not many of those out there. Like, super detailed. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I know it was updated, uh, too, wasn't it? I don't think I even put the update on it. I can't remember if I got the 4K grass version or not. I know that's the one that I wanted to grab though, just to, just to see it. Now I've, I've watched people play, play it on YouTube, you know what I mean? But I, I haven't played it myself. I know. You got time to watch somebody else play it, but you ain't got time to play it yourself. What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, the secret is... I watch it at work. Not at home. <laughs>
Yeah, that's the secret. That's the secret to it, Carl. <laughs> <coughs> What work to you even to that? What work do you even do that you don't have much time to play farm sim? Um, right here. Yeah, building maps. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a, I'm a heavy equipment operator. Did you, uh, did you get the new box? Did you order a new box, Joel? Yeah, you're making videos and, and maps, <laughs> but my, my real work is I'm a heavy equipment operator. Bulldozer, excavator, rock truck, backhoe, water truck, water and road, all kinds of stuff, man. Uh, okay. All right, Joel. Yeah, hopefully it works for you. Yeah, that's the funny part too, Carl. Uh, I run heavy equipment in real life, but I'd still rather come home and and run it on the game. <laughs> You're playing a big sandbox in real life, but I'd still rather come home and, and, and play it on farm sim. <laughs> they, they got a good trainer a good teacher must be you better keep your eye on them <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you thought it was just people's kids these days were were smarter. <laughs> Ain't just the kids. <laughs> Man, at work we got a lot of turkeys. Turkeys and in the summer, you know, we got ducks and that around, but we got a bald eagle that shows up all the time. But uh we always <laughs> You see you see the turkey come across the road and then all the little turkeys wobbling behind it, man, it's funny.
Now that's good and surprising at the same time. Yeah, we got a crazy amount of turkeys at work, man. It's it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> truck driver would be like, oh man, look at these turkeys down here. Like, yeah, trust me, we got hundreds of them here. So you can take one home for Thanksgiving if you want. <laughs> it might be a little tough. Yeah, that too, like, I don't even have to buy a turkey for Thanksgiving. Uh, my work buys turkeys for everybody, and then they... They buy so many, they're able to go through the neighborhood and give everybody in the neighborhood a turkey as well. It's crazy. And then normally, because um, they'll get them like a couple of days before Thanksgiving. So I don't eat mine because... They don't give them to us in time to actually thaw them properly before Thanksgiving. So I end up going and I'll buy a turkey and then I'll save the one that they give us for Christmas or something. But normally they they order so many of them after Thanksgiving they're giving us more because the freezer is still full of turkeys. <laughs> yeah, there's a local farm down the road. Um, they, they get a bunch of turkeys from them. Thanksgiving time. Yes. Yes, they should. And I'm like, I ain't eating that thing. I mean, I'll take it, but I ain't eating that thing for Thanksgiving. But yeah, they don't give them to us quick enough. Like, ah. Uh, I'm a certified professional food manager, so after getting that training, um, you, you look at that stuff a whole lot different, and everybody's like, oh, just um, run it under wa cold water or whatever. No, you, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Everybody else at work eats them. I'm like, I ain't eating that thing. I'll put it in the freezer and I'll eat it for Christmas or something. I know. And it's like the older you get, the quicker the years just fly by too. It's crazy. I'm back in the younger day, man. <laughs> Summer used to last forever. Not that more, man. You blink your eyes, it's gone. This is the most of these things <laughs> that I've ever put in. I started off just barely using them, but I'm okay with a bunch of them just as long as they're not in big patch lines like that. Like Giants added them. Um, yeah. Yes. If you got one big enough to fit a 20 pound turkey into, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and it got all the, the, yeah, the neck and all that good stuff inside of it too, yep. So you'd have that to deal with. Yeah, just normally just go buy one or man I love me some turkey sandwiches now like like french fried taters man mm -hmm. <clears throat> good old white meat turkey sandwich oh man dude it's crazy 
Hey, and then, and then, uh, with the leftovers too, I like to do, um, like shred up, shred up your turkey, like your leftover. Um, take your leftover turkey, shred it up, make some stuffing, and then mix the shredded turkey up in the stuffing. Pour some gravy over that, and then put it in the oven and bake it. Ooh, wee wee. It's good stuff. Um, in the refrigerator. It's, it gotta sit in the refrigerator for so many days for so many pounds. So, if you got a 20 pound turkey, it's gotta sit in there for like at least three days to properly thaw. Yeah, don't, don't run it underneath uh, cold water in the sink. <laughs> Until you get salmonella. Not saying that you're going to get sick from it. But, yeah, the chances of it go way up. <laughs> Um, so if Thanksgiving's on Wednesday, they might give it to us on Monday, on, on that Monday, nowhere near in enough time to follow properly. So like not even two full days that they give it to us ahead of time. Yeah, so you're getting it at the end of the day on Monday. So you only have Tuesday to thaw it out. You're not thawing out a 20 pound turkey in one day properly. It ain't happening. Yeah, you might not have gotten sick, but um, you can get sick from doing that. It's, it, yeah, it's not the right way of doing it. I mean, again, I mean, you could do it a thousand times over again and not get sick from it, but the chances of getting sick from it are definitely heightened. Uh, yeah.
sorry about that. My daughter came down and hit me with the joke. Yeah, she, she had to get me. <laughs> yeah, she had to get me. Um, why? Salmonella poisoning. Throwing, throwing something out too quick. Um, poultry. Poultry. Um, yeah, like ground or beef is supposed to be cooked at up to like uh, ooh, ooh, wee. uh 165 temperature um, and like even some restaurants offer it um, like rare cheeseburgers I would never eat a rare cheeseburger <laughs> I would never eat a rare cheeseburger because the, the 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 meat's being yeah I don't know I wouldn't do it now you can eat a rare steak but not a rare burger because it, it's it's all ground up so anything that was outside cross contamination. And then it being ground up, it heightens the risk of getting sick from it. Because, um, uh, are you schooling me here or what? <laughs> Simonello grows when, when it's, uh, when it, uh, the meat. The poultry is uh, thawed out like that. It's it's the improper way of doing it. Google it. You shouldn't thaw meat like that. Yeah, I don't eat rare anything either. Not even steak. It's got to be well done. Not that I'm worried about the steak being rare. I ain't worried about the steak being rare, but I just don't, I don't, my meat's gotta be done. I don't eat pink meat. <laughs> it's just like sushi. Uh, anybody that serves sushi because that's got to be prepared right man like um, personal hygiene and all that like people that serve sushi are supposed to be um, trained and being and certified and being able to prepare and serve Sushi. Hey, it's been a long time ago, but I've been, th <laughs> I, I went through a lot of schooling and training on, on that stuff, man, to, to be a professional food manager. I'm not in that field anymore, but I went through a lot of training for that. And it makes you, <laughs> it makes you, uh think twice about 
what you're actually doing. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to thaw the turkey in the refrigerator. Yeah. Now, like ground beef, beef, stuff like that, you can you can thaw. You can thaw like that, um, like in the microwave on defrost and that. But you you can't do that with turkey. You can't do it. You can, and you might not get sick from it. But you definitely should not do that with turkey. Because poultry carries a lot of bacteria and stuff. Any poultry, birds, or um, chicken, turkey. Yeah, I don't know if you just heard me, but, uh, yeah, that's not as risky. I mean, like, you can throw, like, meat, like, beef, pork, whatever, there in the microwave, so, um, and that, but you, you shouldn't do that with turkey. It, it's, it's the poultry. Poultry carries a lot of bacteria and stuff, just like chicken, just like pigeon. That's why people don't eat pigeons and stuff like that, because birds carry so, so much bacteria, it's not even funny. Then it, you got way better chances of, that's why when, I mean, you see salmonella on other stuff, but it's mainly from, like, eggs or chicken or turkey and stuff like that it's the poultry I'm not saying that you can't get salmonella from anything else but um, it's normally from poultry And, and personal hygiene people not washing their hands before they serve you your food that's the other big that's the biggest thing man personal hygiene Wait, like in front of the space heater? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you could thaw it in the, in the oven or whatever. But yeah, then you gotta take all the stuff out of it. But yeah, it would have to go straight from that to cooking, but then be cooking outside of it in the middle it will be frozen so it's not a good idea <laughs> what do you mean air heat though like just letting it sit out 
Or what? Hey, how's how's this stream always turn into the Food Network? <laughs> Wasn't even trying that time. I might have did something like that before, but ugh. I think uh, back in my younger days, you know, we used to just, unless the microwave quit working, we would just use the defrost on the microwave. Um, but I think that, like, my mom would do the cold water thing, though, if the microwave wasn't going, but not with the turkey. The turkey was always just thawed in the refrigerator. up to the proper temperature and you don't have anything to worry about but if you thawed it improperly and by chance uh, you got the outside of the meat to the proper temperature but the very center of it wasn't that's where you could get sick from just eating that little piece in the center that wasn't up to temp because it was thawed wrong or yeah because it was thawed out wrong but if you get it up to temp, you're fine. Like, all the way through to temp. So, uh, like, like I said, ground beef supposed to be, or, uh, beef, like ground meat and stuff like that is supposed to be 165. So, if you got that up to 165, you don't have anything to worry about because it kills the bacteria. But, if you don't, if you thaw it improperly and then it let's say it has salmonella and you cook it up to temp you're killing that salmonella and you don't have anything to worry about but let's say you thawed it improperly and you check the temp on the outside but you don't get a thermometer all the way in well that is like five degrees under that 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 pacific meats cooking temperature and you eat that and it had salmonella from being followed wrong you're getting salmonella from that but yeah if it's fully cooked inside and out up to temp you, you don't have anything to worry about Yeah, uh, I can't I exactly remember the temps off by hand for everything, but um, I think like porks, uh, I think pork is the highest. It's like 180. You got to have it too. Um, 
or that's 145 and poultry's 180 or something like that I can't remember off by heart now it's been so long but I mean it's easy to just google it's like 180 145 165 that certain meats have to reach to kill the bacteria in it no bacon You gotta have bacon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, like, come on now, you gotta have bacon, at least. Bacon, bacon, bacon. I mean, how did I miss this big old spot there? I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter, but. Oh, I think I could, because I jumped to the right back there somewhere. All right, Carl. Hi, right, buddy. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, I, I kind of slowed down on what I was doing there. Just food networking it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I need to go outside and see if my grass is dry so I can cut it. Anyways, I'll go now. Good luck on the foliage painting by explanation point, explanation point. <laughs> I'm a translator now. <laughs> That's what she said when she came back the last time. Uh, it's letting her watch. Her internet's letting her watch, but she can't see anybody's uh, chat except for her own. Right now, her Wi-Fi is messed up right now. Yeah, her dad, Joel. He said. He said, wait, what, you mean Joel, Joel post? You can't see me post? Yeah, Joel, Joel can't see anybody's uh, chat right now. She could earlier, she just can't now. good enough here with this yeah she's blind she can hear you but she can't see you right now <laughs>
Um, yeah, this one, this here will be the worst part right here. Once we, once we get past this point, boom, it should go quick because it's thin. And then, again, this part right here. Uh, man. So, if I can go cut my grass right now, I won't have to worry about it tomorrow. Um, I'd say maybe I would come in here and try to work on some of this before the stream, but why? <laughs> Might as well come in and at least stream the whole time if I'm going to be working on it. But yeah, so tomorrow's Friday. So I don't have to go to bed. Yeah, I won't have to stop at 4.35. So, um, yeah. It, it, it's looking good. We're getting there. Once I get, uh, I don't know. Still need to do the grass in the middle. But I'm going to go ahead. I want to keep going. But I'm going to go ahead and stop here, guys. Um, so, we got, we got to do all of this here with those things we were working with there. And then... Uh, we'll do like we normally do. Grab some trunks. <laughs> Excuse me. Whew. We got the hiccups. <gasps> oh. Um. Man, I would love to go in Blender and make some new little logs to lay around. Like the ones we've been throwing down. That would be sweet. Uh. But yeah, after we get done with these things we're putting down, we'll go grab the little logs, the logs that we've been putting down. We'll throw them down, and then we'll throw our big sticks down. And then, uh, what, our ferns, the stinging needles, and then uh, the fly caps. Then we'll put our trees in, and then we'll put our cover foliage in. Same order we normally do it in. Uh, and it was, I would actually like to stop and work on Blender some today too, but and yeah, we'll get to that at some point. Um, yeah. I'm not even sure how to approach it. Should I waste my time trying to get that store fixed or should I just invest my time in making my own building from scratch? Which I might just go ahead and do that and then try to get a hold of Lancy Boy to help me with the uh, adding, adding materials to it because I don't, I don't wanna just, uh, I don't know man. I gotta make sure I got everything split in different pieces and that to to get the different materials in different spots and all that good stuff. Why is that? Yeah, cause I won't I won't finish the map and I'll be on that all the time. <laughs> Yeah, but then I still won't be able to finish the map until I at least get that store done. Like, I want to go in there and make a bunch of stuff, but I, I'm i really just worried about the store. Um, Because I can update the map at any time and add all that craziness to it. All the stuff I want to add, like building and stuff, but uh, I'm not going to release the map until I got some type of store in place other than what's sitting there. <laughs> yeah, I know it will. I know it will. But, I, I made a building pretty darn quick. Like, pretty darn quick. Anything I didn't do was throw windows in it. 
and then I deleted it and then I started making another one <laughs> so the actual making just a basic building thing it goes pretty quick outside of putting the windows and stuff in it after you know what you're doing um, yeah but being able to separate everything and put glass where glass needs all that good stuff I know you need to put materials so you would put glass so whenever you assigned a material to that it would sign that that material to uh, well that texture to anything that was named with that material so the basics of the stuff I got down I don't know but like I said I'm, I made a building pretty quick just didn't put windows in it yes yes you can that's why I said I, 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 I made one building deleted it started making another building um but I also actually brought the store in to Blender and was going to just take this sign off and put mine onto it. But the problem is, it's not like Giants Editor. You can't just click on it and delete it because it's made up with them lines and stuff. So I got to somehow figure out how to get it separated from the actual building to delete it. And, uh, yeah, the same with this. So, if that's the case, I mean, that's what I could do for right now. If I can get this off of there and get that off of there and then put mine on it. I'll just use this for now until I go in and make a building. But I want to change this red stucco. Like, I don't, I don't want it red right there. So if I can't get that changed, then I'm not using that either. But I should be able to. I just got to figure out how to get this sign off of there cleanly. Without ripping it and messing it all up. Can't cover it over. Because it's 3D. You know what I mean? So it's not just like laying a plane over top of it. Unless I, unless I put a, a punch out, like put a, um, a rectangle here, like it was a little box that just covered it and then put my 3D sign over top of it, I could do it like that. Well, for all that, I might as well just do this. Uh, yeah, for all that, I might as well just do this right here. And why use a plane? Why use a plane when you could just do this? Use an actual cube, then shrink it down to the thickness of those letters. right and then just put that on the front of the building and then put my letters popping out on the front of it like that and just use a cube obviously not have it that big I can make it smaller or whatever or or I could make it that big and then have it come all the way up here and then make another one to fill this in, make another one to fill that in so it looks like the front of the building is still flat. Put this texture right here on it and then put my sign on front of that. Or just make it smaller to where it's just covering in letters and then put mine on, front of, on the front of it. Oh, okay. Alright, let me delete that so I don't save that in there. <laughs> Thank you. 
yeah all right but that's it guys so uh again i appreciate it that's where we're going that's where we're headed um so good night to you good night jewel good night whatever else is in there i appreciate you guys um if anybody subscribed um and your channel is private and it didn't come up in the alert box i appreciate it oh got to go have a good one um i got these pop-ups again man yeah and then uh yeah, if you're interested in the game, any old game, any DLC, any uh, add-on piece of equipment, check out the links in the description uh, at no extra cost to you or and or use the code triple D at checkout. Uh, all proceeds will go to supporting the channel. So with that being said, um, that's it. So. If you like what you see go ahead and hit that like button if you want to see what's coming what's next hit the subscribe button mash some notification bells and i'm out doses <laughs>